what's going on my aquarius first i would like to say thank you so much for the support if you haven't joined the team yet join the team subscribe to my shit bro and this is going to be strictly about love yes i said it love people so we have what happened in the past for my singles aquarius what's going on now and what's to come and this is for my couples i'll leave the timestamps below so that you can pick and choose which one resonates for you we got some channel messages i'm gonna pull so make sure you stay tuned all right let's get right into this tea okay my aquarius singles now i know off the bat y'all gonna be like lava the empress i can't even see all the cards listen y'all just follow my voice okay because i just couldn't fit the shit all right so without further ado i see here for my singles in the past you definitely worried a lot about love okay i feel like you try to get control or have control over love you probably still do and you have a hard time letting go of control issues but i feel like in the past you definitely gave yourself to people like you were of service of some sort like you made sure people knew that you were dependable that you were going to be there for them and um you took care i feel like you was taking care of somebody before or whatever the case may be um i feel like in the past you used to jump into situations um within this within the next few weeks thing yeah and with this don't stop here i felt like you was very persistent in the past that's what i feel you was very persistent very um caring and nurturing but then we have thief here sheds light on the potential wealth within you that can never be stolen so i feel like maybe in the heart i mean i said in the heart wow in the past, um, people stole your heart or you felt like somebody stole your heart and probably misused it in the past, whatever the case may be. Um, we have the shadow side of God, places financial gain and control over. And yeah, so in the past, somebody was very materialistic. Maybe it was you, Aquarius, who was looking at the materialistic side of things when it came to love. You were a provider. You are somebody that likes to shower people with gifts instead of words. Okay, and I feel like maybe you felt like in the past people were out to get your money or people only noticed you for your money or your status and didn't really care about your heart. So you tucked it in and you kept it in a safe place because like I said, you were very anxious. You were very worrisome. You had a lot of control issues. Okay, um, but you still made sure people knew that you were going to be dependable. But I felt like in the past, you know, maybe it didn't go out so well, like I said, um, and there was a lot of envy here as well. Maybe somebody was envious. I don't know who it was. Like I said, you take it how it resonates. Either you or your person was envious of one another's status or whatever the case may be. And just the situation just didn't work out for you in love before for my Aquarius singles. Right now, I feel like you're not really willing to offer anything or you feel like you don't have, I'm not going to say you're not willing, but you feel like you don't have enough to offer right now. When it comes to love, I feel like you're putting that on a back burner here with this weight. Yeah, because you're just trying to learn yourself more and you're going to be successful at that. But I also see here, like you just can't let something go. Some of you have a hard time releasing your ex, maybe because there's a very strong soul connection here um yeah so you having a you having closure issues or you having problems releasing your ex releasing past energy and um right now you're trying to wait it out right now you're just trying to learn you're trying to take the back seat and for once instead of trying to take control i feel like you're trying to take the back seat and just learn okay and with this success, I know that there is no greater goal than love. I feel like you're coming into the conclusion that whatever it is that you thought love was about before, it is not. I feel like somebody came in your life and changed your mind about something, Aquarius. Um, and so now you're just in this waiting mode, in this planning mode. I feel like you are working on your coins right now. And I feel like when it comes to love, you just... You don't have, you feel a little unstable or you don't feel like you are enough. But I feel like 
in the future for you guys, for my singles out here, you're going to start to take action, okay? I've been like, I feel like you've been planning and thinking and contemplating for a long, long time of how you're going to um, pursue this or whatever it is that you do. And you're going to come out of that energy and actually make a move. And I feel like some of you are going to ask your friends for help or you have been asking your friends for help regarding love. Um, maybe they tell you the right advice or maybe they don't. That's You got to use your intuition for that. You know, you can't trust everyone, but... You're going to, I feel like in the past, you, I mean, in the future, there's this sense of just wanting to be more truthful or tell the truth. We have falseness in reverse. So really showing your truest self or really taking a chance with being honest, okay? Because I felt like you being... And this is about you guys, okay? This is your reading. So if you feel like it's your person that's like that, you can just switch the energies if you feel, if you must. But what I'm reading, I'm reading, you know, for you guys. And I feel like you guys used to feel like you have to wear a mask in the... um in the past. You you feel like, you know, if you show people you had money, if you show people that you dress nice and you was of status, that they would appreciate you, but all you attracted was thieves, people that used you, abused you, and did not care about your heart. And so you tucked that shit right in in the past and you just you know, you, you became a smooth little criminal or whatever the case may be. And now I feel like your mindset has changed. You're learning more about yourself and learning more about what it is that you accept and one will set when it comes to love and what it is that you actually want. Okay. And yeah, there's been a lot of sorrow here. There's been a lot of pain here. I feel like you're missing somebody Aquarius or, you know, yeah, you're missing somebody or somebody's really missing you and you just want to get out of that energy. And I feel like upcoming when it comes to love, there's going to be a lot of improvement with your your own mental health, with your own emotional health. And so right now, it may not be what you want it to be right now, Aquarius. That's why we have no hair. Maybe... Um, there is a need to wait. And you know, it's a process, but everything will happen in perfect timing. And I do know you do believe that. Like divine timing, everything will happen in perfect timing. Balance is definitely coming in. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. Yeah, because you guys are afraid of judgment. You guys like to be in the limelight or you like to be noticed as, you know, someone to notice. And I feel like, Sometimes that can cloud your your vision so much that you start to miss the bigger picture in things. And then you get stuck in this energy of being that smooth criminal and not showing your heart and only showing your pockets. And then you wonder why you're not fulfilled. OK, and so I feel like you are learning. You are going to take action in the future. I do believe in you. Um, we have visionary in the reverse, selling insights to the highest bidder, compromising your vision to make it more acceptable. I feel like, yeah, you guys were definitely wearing a mask in the past, trying to please everyone, trying to, you know, almost shape shift or be whatever it is that you felt like people wanted you to be, that you just didn't take time to figure out who you truly were. And I feel like now you're in the stage of where you're like, you know what? Let me learn about me. So that's what I see for my Aquarius singles. If that resonated in any way, let me know in the comment section below, but don't go anywhere. Skip to the overall general love reading for Aquarius because we do have some channel messages for the general um, love reading of Aquarius. So I'll see you there. All right. Bye, singles. All right, my Aquarius that are in a committed relationship or are talking to somebody right now and it's kind of getting serious or whatever the case may be, whatever floats your boat. This is going to be your reading. So right now, I'm going to get straight into it. In the past, in the relationship, I feel like it started off a little unstable. I feel like you guys did not plan to commit to each other at first. For most of you out there, it was supposed to be a one-night stand or you guys probably met each other at an unconventional event or something uh, like out of the random. Like it wasn't like your casual walk to the store or something like that. You, some of you probably met online or whatever the case may be, what, but whatever it is, you felt like uh, this was your soulmate and maybe most of you, it is your soulmate that you are dealing with. It says, yes, this is your soulmate. You felt a lot of connection to this person in the past, but I felt like it started off very unstable. Maybe 
you Aquarius was not stable in your home or this person wasn't or they didn't have like a stable foundation one one or both of you had to travel for work someone could be in the military um or had a military job and that's why like the home life wasn't too stable I feel like you have to travel for work or some of you could have been security guards or police officers somebody that's in command that has to guard something okay um so you take it how it resonates that don't have to be your job or this person's job like this is a general reading i see in the past here like um even though you guys knew uh met each other and it started off unstable maybe um because of the traveling or whatever or work situation it causes somebody it caused one or both of you to go into this hermit mode okay to really um seek your personal space i feel like like you just needed to find yourself or whatever the case may be and there was a lot of recovery here okay so yeah maybe somebody could have cheated in the past as well okay in this relationship somebody could have cheated okay and there was regret um and wasn't acting remorseful or regretful or some of them were in regret maybe you felt like you regretted you know giving your time to this person in the past right now in the present i feel like you don't really want to hold on to this relationship you can say that i'm wrong i probably am but hopefully i mean it is what it is you probably don't want to hold on to this relationship you just want but at the same time you're getting to know each other you're trying to make the effort here okay so i feel like you guys um had a rocky start but you know you're trying to get in, to know each other because you just want peace and you want it to be friendship i feel like for some of you out there, um, your gift from this person was a child. Some of you could have had a child with this person um, or whatever the case may be. You could have met this person at work, whoever this is that you're in a relationship with. This person could be the one who have all of the materialistic aspects down pat. Like they could be very flashy. They could like gifts and expensive things and whatever the case may be into that lifestyle. And um, I feel like Aquarius, you desperately, like desperately be wanting to be a part of that lifestyle, um, which is so sad. Um, but I don't judge. I don't judge. If, anyway, networker. Uh, yeah, I definitely feel like you met this person at work or whatever, or they do something for business to where it's like a social thing. And maybe some of you've been with this person due to it being like a financial uh, contract of some sort or this person has a lot of friends. You have a lot of friends. We have mediator here, gift for negotiating fairness. Yeah, I feel like for some of you out there, y'all are in this relationship, not because you desperately or want to really hold on to this person, but you're trying to make it work and you're trying to be fair. You're trying to take the fair side of things. If you hear a dog bark, it's because there's dogs downstairs, okay? So um, I'm sorry for the noise, but moving on. Yeah, it's like you desperately... I don't know why I keep saying desperately. I don't know. Are you guys desperate or something? Anyway, um, I just feel like you guys want to be fair. You like to take the fair approach. Um, yeah. And But I feel like you you definitely want friendship. Yeah. So you just want things to be balanced off with this person right now. Maybe some of you feel like you're stuck in a contract of some sort or you just can't up and leave this person because this your baby mama, baby daddy, whatever the case may be. And you just want peace and res peace and resolution. Peaceful, a peaceful resolution. What the fuck? Mercury retrograde is kicking my ass, okay? But you just want a peaceful resolution, um, and you want friendship with this person. You know that this person came into your life for a reason, and um, you just want to continue to network and get your shit together, I feel like, with this in this relationship. What's to come is the fact that I feel like you guys are going to be financially stable, definitely. You're going to be financially stable, but... The king of pentacles is somebody who is very stern. They're not very emotionally open. You could have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in, in your chart or could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Your soulmate could be a Taurus, Aquarius. Um, but I do see here um, definitely being stable, having, yeah, some of you already are a father of some sort, but yeah. 
definitely being stable and standing in your energy, making sure you provide, being the provider in this relationship. We have unrequited love here in reverse. There's not enough attraction. So you have attraction to this person still. You have chemistry with this person. So you are going to make the effort and make it work um, when it comes to this relationship. But you feel like this person is not dependable or reliable for some reason here. Or maybe this person feels like that about you in this relationship. And what's to come is that you may find, that, find out in the future how uh, unreliable this person is. But... We're not going to wish that on them. We have negative judgment of the physical world. Yeah, okay, so monk nun. Yeah, that's what it's called, monk nun, monk nun, whatever. Yeah, you guys have to release a lot of judgment, okay? And I feel like maybe this person is very judgmental or maybe you come from a judgmental background. I don't know. Y'all would never... Um, admit to that but y'all niggas could be very judgmental you know that but um i feel like yeah that's the energy right now maybe their group of friends here are judgmental or your group of there's a lot of gossip people know your business in this relationship or you've been discussing look at that like spitting all that venom and she just willing to listen so i don't know if this is like you know you guys talk about each other when y'all y'all not working out and y'all gossip, and then y'all come back together and get together, whatever, or, you know, there's just a lot of people talking about your relationship here, Aquarius. A lot of people know your business. A lot of people know your business, but we have mentor here. I, I don't know how I skipped over that. Passing on wisdom and refining a student's character. This lets me know that you guys are definitely in student mode, whether you are in a relationship or not, because the singles got the same thing as well. Like this whole student, I feel like you feel you can learn from this person in some way or you have learned from this person, whether you learn how to make that money with this person or whatever the case may be, you learned something. But there's a lot of gossip here. Okay, which can be very toxic, so be careful. But we have remained positive because in a year from now, you could get your the happiness that you seek. And then we have relationships here. So this can become an, a higher commitment within a year from now. Or this can, you know, become a better situation within a year from now. So if you're in a relationship or whatever, um, there's hope. But I feel like, you know, hmm... This is more like a friendship thing, too, as well. I feel like you just want to make peace here. Like, if this is your baby mom, baby dad, whatever the case may be, and you feel so attached to them or whatever, or you just want to do the right thing, you don't want to be wrong. I feel like you have, you guys have a lot of moral code that you follow, which is cool. Um, the situation will imp improve from a year from now or whatever the case may be, and you will have some sort of happiness or whatever. So... That's good to hear. And now I'll see you guys in your overall general reading. Yes. Okay, Aquarius, welcome back to your super read. So generally for all signs, from for all my Aquarius out there, not all signs, but all my Aquarius, generally when it comes to love right now, you need to release the need to know all the answers. Some of you are feeling a little doubtful that things will work out. But you are growing and there will be an expansion here when it comes to love, okay? So when you learn more about yourself, you learn what you're willing to accept or not. Then you start to attract the people that you really need to attract in your life. But I do see you are overthinking or you have been in your head in the past or whatever the case may be. Either now or in the past where you're just trying to worry like how is this going to work out. Just release the need to feel like it's not going to work out. I feel like you guys become pessimistic due to your doubt here. So yeah, because a tower moment is about to happen. I feel like you're about to, um, for some of you out there, you're going, you're going to realize that whoever it is that you're dealing with, um, I feel like if you're in a relationship, Whoever you, and this is general, if you're in a relationship, you're going to see who the snake is, okay? There's a snake around, or this person has a lot of options, and they they might be cheating, or whatever the case may be, um, or you left, or for some of you, I'm getting that someone left you for somebody else, okay? But either way, um, 
shit is going down, okay? Or shit has been going down in your love life. Shit has been a little destructive for my Aquarius. I feel like it's caused a block within your throat chakra here. There's a lot of non-communications happening here. And I feel like for some of my Aquarius, if you are single, maybe because something happened in the past with you and this person, you feel like um, it's not going to work out. There's no communication, obviously, being had here, but you definitely want to offer some type of apology or this person do, because we have communicate clearly night in the Knight of Swords in reverse, which this is you guys. So you guys are holding back communication right now and taking a step back, um, but you do want to have a heart to heart conversation with someone or someone wants to have a heart to heart conversation with you. Okay. You could be asking your friends around how to talk to this person or how can you get to this person back. For some of you out there, I feel like you express yourself through music, so continue to do so or be mindful of the music that you're listening to. Some of you are deeply connected connected to a soulmate that is very intuitive, very creative, um, and you guys have like this 5D spiritual connection going on. And you guys, when you listen to music, it's kind of like a message from them or whatever the case may be. So make sure you pay attention to your music or what type of music you are listening to because it could be some spiritual messages in there from your person, okay? And so... Let's see what your channel messages are, Aquarius. I hate that I broke your trust. I have trust issues as well. So, yeah, there was a lot of, like I said, people uh, misusing you or you broke somebody's trust, Aquarius, because you have trust issues and there's a lot of regret behind that or, you know, you take it however it resonates. But we moving on to the next, well... The next channel message is, there is a delay in finances. So yeah, right now you guys are just trying to focus on how you're going to get this money, how you're going to go to the bag, you know what I mean? And uh, let's see. Stability. What did I say? You're going to focus on how you're going to get to this bag, how you're going to make sure you are stable. I feel like Aquarius, you are a provider. You like to... Your love language is mostly giving gifts and letting people know through gifts how much you like them and through sex. But um, all in all, stability is mainly important for you right now. And last but not least, your message, your last channel message is what? Need more guidance. Seek help. I don't know if y'all can see that. Seek help if Seek the help you need at this time. Shit. So I feel like, yeah, with this asking around, asking your friends what to do, or just learning more about yourself, being the student, that's the overall energy regarding love for my Aquarius. If this resonated in any type of way, leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know the tea because I'm nosy like that. It's your good sis, Lava the Empress, and Aquarius, I'll see you in your next video. Bye, Aquarius.